Are you passionate about sales? Do you have commissioned sales experience in broadcasting and entertainment? Join the A Better Broadcasting and Media Sales Team. Submit your resume to abetterentertainment at gmail.com. Visit abetterbroadcastingandmedia.com. For more information, call 346-335. Stated by various contributors to 92 Kells, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize the importance of keeping an open mind and not construing the data, products, and or services as factual. You're now tuned into the Garage Apartment on 92KELZ, the only station with new music, new artists, new sound. I love this station. Mike Jones. Who? Oh. Money Train. Money Train. Money Train. Try, I try. <laughs> it's Sunday night, so you know what that means. Be back up in here again. Welcome to the Garage Apartment. Sports and entertainment with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the Funky Militant, Dar Jones. And as always, we got the tribe in here. Tell them who you are. Hello. It's that boy, Mom Mizzle. What it do? And Amar Terry. And the Black Wheelbarn Amar is here. Amar Terry. Hey, I saw a movie called uh, Amar. Now, Guava Island. With, with, with Childish Gambivo in it, and he's late everywhere he goes. That's I swear mine. to God, that's him. That's him right there. That's you too, though. I, 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 first off, I don't know what you talking about. Was he I, on time to that uh, birthday party? Hey, man. Absolutely not. <laughs> My better half is out right now. She's out. She's out of the country. And he never made it to Grammy's house. So, uh, hey, hey, first off, you will not. Your mother-in-law was asking. We're not going to do this on the air. Do your your mother-in-law was asking where you was. And I was like, you would know about ah! Yes, indeed. And we are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our new website, the garageapt.com. Some got some amazing stuff on there. Got some previous shows. Got some videos. Subscribe to YouTube, too. We got some good things coming out for you on that as well. If you're a subscriber. Absolutely. We got some uh, some amazing articles. Shout out to our uh, Facebook watchers. Our YouTube watchers. Absolutely. And you know, as the, as the pastor say, we just keep getting gooder and gooder. Because we now have phones. We missed our pastor today. Hey. The phone number would be what, sir? So, uno, uno, if you want to talk to us, you know, going to call. You got some questions, got some feedback, got some comments, got some hate, got some praise, got some whatever it is that you got. We welcome it all. You can reach us at 713-8, excuse me, 713-489-0688. Again, that's right. 713-489-0688. One more time. My pen messed up. 713 713- Four eight nine zero six eight eight. Cool. Holla at us. So, fellas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I understood back in December and January and even February about the damn heater being on on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but this don't and make no made, sense. Almost May in Houston. Oh, we, and the heater on hot. And we maybe. blazing hot like They crazy. trying to help us... Uh, Detox or, or, or cleanse all impurities from out of nah, our body. No, they don't body. need to do that. Appreciate you turn the goddamn on air on. <laughs> I just came from just my, turn the heat off. I just came from my rise. grandmother's uh, birthday celebration. We was libationing up. Just let it ride. Let libationing it do its up. Course. Yeah, yeah and uh, up. I was at the Who That Nation Houston. Who that? Who that? Uh, oh, crawfish boil. Hey, shout out to Who That just Nation. Just earlier. Dr. Dancer. Yeah. Getting uh. <laughs> Big Phil, the what's up, Big Phil? 
all of that on. It was nice. I guess they're going to be out there on the fourth strong, huh? Yeah. Um, Is that who's sponsoring on the fourth? Who? Who that nation? They Spon- say they're giving, not giving away crawfish, but they're selling crawfish out there. Oh, on 504 days? Yeah, on 504 days. Uh, I, I, I have it, yet to hear I where the crawfish comes from. That. If it's Fiesta <laughs> crawfish, I'm good. It ain't us. If it's Fiesta crawfish, <laughs> I'm good. Don't need the parade. Hey, Fiesta, but we love you. Oh, yeah, no. Fiesta, for certain <laughs> things, you good, but your liquor store is on point. However, I'm good on your crawfish. They, they tiny. Mass. Okay, okay, they don't advertise here, so. Thank you. We just, you got to pay to play over here, no, baby. Nobody's sending nobody to H-E-B no in Paraland and no damn where else. State. Yeah, yeah, you actually State slandered State. their State. name, State. so. Uh, Hot take. <laughs> the views of D Mac do not share the view. The, the garage department does not share the same no, views no. of D Mac. Uh, we all have our individual views. Absolutely. Anyway, so we got a lot, uh, had a lot go on this week, fellas. Of course, you know, the, the, the NBA playoffs are, are, are well in kicking. Uh, second round. The second round, we had uh, the Rockets and the, and the Dubs, the Golden State Warriors, just complete their oh, game. So close. Yes, so and uh, despite the three additional days of rest that the Houston Rockets had, Rust is they, what some people would call it. Uh, they still came up short. Uh, Once again. I ain't talking about. Never mind. But that's rusty. only game one. All we need is all they need is one in Golden State, and then bam, home court advantage. Yeah, that's all. I, I, Until they lose in Houston, in which case home court advantage be back. Yeah, but I, I was uh, very unimpressed with the Warriors. They're very beatable, still. So. Yeah, they. they I don't they think we have much, a whole lot. Name has a bum ankle. A uh, little baby curve. Yeah. And Clay Thompson is just I don't know, kind of hurt, kind of not hurt. Pride hurt more probably than anything else. And Durant is just a straight OG. Yeah, triple triple. Yeah, OG. Well, what happened with Clint Capella today? Quint Clint. Clint Capella's getting over an illness. No, 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 no. It wasn't Clint Capella's getting over very. uh, Nah, Clint Capella's getting over an illness. That's why he didn't play. Oh well, you better get well, brother. Uh, A lot anyway. He had to take an IV and uh, he had to go to the hospital in Utah. Utah and get antibiotics. But without cousin, that was a week ago. Yeah, it was a week ago. You ever had the flu? You still feel the residual effect? Three to five days, folks. Three to five days. Yeah, you still feel Well, he had three effect. days of rest. But he didn't have five. Oh, Bam, stop three to five. It. So we making excuses. No, no man, we, we, we're getting I'm just reason. saying, here we go. Took the L, Last year was, man, they could have won if it wasn't for Chris Paul I'm losing. I'm sitting here telling you, Clinton Capella has to dominate this series. He is the game changer in this series that would allow them to win. If he can catch a double-double every game from hence forth, the Rockets should be okay. If he sits here and catches a 10-rebound, seven-point game, it's not going to work. That means James Harden has to score too many points. <laughs> too many points. James Harden has to score too many points every night. 30 is not too many points. 30 is just right in his wheelhouse. Uh-huh. 40, that's a lot to add. That's when he turns into Russell Westbrook. We don't want that. Yeah, so once again, they did not shoot well from behind the three-point line. And, of course, you know, when playing with the Go- against the Golden State Warriors, you have to make your shots. Yeah, but they're not going to start off one, in four, one for 14 every game. I Over mean, it. you know. You're right. They'll just do it in game seven. Maybe. No. But, but, <laughs> but they're not going to do that every game, man. Um, I actually didn't feel too bad about this loss. I, if I, I were either. a Rockets fan. I was like, eh, four points. What you mean, uh, four what? points? An L is an L. Nah, but you can learn a lot from an L. And if you get four L's, you out. Yeah, but what yeah, you learn from that win? Yeah, but you got to get four. So. What you learn from you was like, yeah, oh, we you, won. You three away dog. already. You already three away. Yeah, and they're four away. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One game. Game I one, which they, which they pretty much had to win. I love you all's optimism, gentlemen. I think it is superb, and I understand why y'all are so successful that in your lives. That does not sound like optimism to me. No, it's me it sounds like math. Yeah, it's like, really, real. It? Yeah, Houston has three losses left. Gold State has four. Yeah, I That's mean, it's, it, it's realism. It, you're it you're sounding as deal. if you're, you're so predicting now, a sweep. You're, are you predicting a sweep? That's what it sounds no, of like course not. Of course I'm not predicting a sweep. Uh, okay. 
But I know Golden State will come down to Houston and they will win a game in Houston. So I know that if the Rockets are not going to protect their home court, they got to at least win one in Golden State. And you don't feel as if they are capable of winning a game? No, I think State. they might. They might steal one, and 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 they might steal one in Golden State. But the thing again, I do not believe that they will beat the Golden State Warriors on the road in a seven-game series. They do not have what they need to get the job done. And I can I can honestly tell you. With history being your guide, I can see why you say that. Mm -hmm. I have no beef with that. However, the ninjas got to lose eventually. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so it could be us or the Rockets, excuse me. It could be Denver. It could be, I don't know, the Lakers coming up next year, two years from now. They're going to have to lose. And when they lose, you're going to obviously say the same thing because they had never lost up to that point. All I'm saying is don't be so surprised if that is this year. I mean, don't get me wrong, please. I, mean, please. I know you want it to be this. Don't year. let, don't let you thinking my vanity for being right supersedes being the right fandom that is a Rockets fan. Is you know, right being here in team? Houston. Those of you who don't know, we are here in Houston. We're based here in Houston, and we are Rockets fans. At least I would like to think that we're Rockets fans, and I too am one. Just hey, realistically, tell, that's because I'm a realist about the situation. They what don't have really what it takes. Si they don't have what it takes to beat the Golden State Warriors. They're better than everyone else so if, except Golden State. So if, if the Warriors lost by four, what were you going to say? Well, I mean. They got a one-game lead. That's they all got you're going to say? Yes, yes they got to protect their house. Because that win don't matter, right? That's what you're going to say. Way, the only way that they can actually be, uh, that, that I would be, if I would be comfortable as a Rockets fan, the only way I would be comfortable with a lead in this series is maybe 3-1. Cause three two, they was up three two okay. last year. Oh, okay, so all I'm win a game is, at home. Just simply say I abstain from commenting on the question because I don't want to predict. I would rather just assume. I don't that mind the best predicting because I honestly truly believe I'm right. I hope I'm wrong, but I believe I'm right. How does somebody hope they wrong? Cause I want the Rockets to win. I want the Rockets to win. That's not. I'm, I, this is bigger than the Rockets. All I'm saying is, eventually they're gonna lose, bro. Yes. You cannot root for these. And guys why not let it be the Rockets who beat them? Absolutely. I would love for that to happen. Eventually, they will lose. Has Iman Shumpert no. been a contributor to you at all? He did like, the first fifteen not, games. I was gonna after say, ooh, that's trade. a lot of games. That's a lot of games. A <laughs> Fifteen was a little much. <laughs> Ten games after the, the trade. The hell is his he purpose? Did. But no, next year. A defensive uh, man, stopper. Man, get out of here. Uh, who did he stop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you seem a little angry. Is what does he do? <laughs> does, he, does he put up like 10 to 15 points? No. no. That's and it's never been a shooter. He puts up one rebound. We need more of that. I mean, no, they he need more give, of that. He didn't give them one rebound, did he? One rebound. He's bad, bro. I mean, not bad. He's just not. He's not fitting in. He's what, away what from say? home. He's not jelly. No, forget yeah, that. forget that. And then Gerald Green with three points. That's the problem. You're at home, bro. You're trying to go to start. We what did they that. shoot? What did they shoot overall for the game? We lost by four points, but I'd say 49%. They were, thir they were 41.9. They were 41%. Uh, right there. All okay. right. Uh, that's – you can't shoot – I mean – You can't shoot 40. What did they shoot? The Warriors though? were 50, 51%. Oh, no. so that was bad defense. 14 <laughs> of no, defense that no, 14 of 47 from three-point line. I mean, uh, you got to shoot three. less three-pointers. 29 and tw – 24, 29 for free throws. That's fantastic. But you can't you can't let them shoot over fifty and you're barely shooting over forty. You can't shoot forty seven threes. That's no, you just stupid. Forty seven threes. That's not, just not, stupid. Not if you're not if you're making. It, all you have to do is hit twenty two. They shot seventy four times. Those forty seven threes. They good. They put up seventy four shots. And forty seven of them were three pointers. Three pointers. That is that's not. That's your problem. You don't think that's ridiculous? That is silly. No, oh, do the math. You want 47 of – if you shoot up 74, you want 50% or more of those to be two-point shots when you're better – No, at, I want them to be made shots. Uh, yeah, yeah. I but want you them can't to guarantee be... that. You can't guarantee me that they're going to make the basket. James Harden didn't make all his layups. Chris Paul definitely didn't make all his layups. Eric Gordon ain't made a layup in 15 years. 
Uh, James I'm Harden high. makes more layups, more a higher percentage of layups than he does threes. Absolutely. And I'm so, sure he does. And so does everybody in the world except Sam Houston and State. And, 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 <laughs> uh, Bearcats and basketball. And you would have known that if you've covered them all year. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, speaking of, we have a uh, uh, three point land. I'm sure he shoots Sterling, better he that than most others. We have a basketball player from Sterling who signed that Lamar. What's his name? Corey something or other. Wow! Shout shout out to to Corey I Summer thought you was Hunter. giving him a shout out, and then you dis you, you I mean, dismissed the man. Corey, no, be on the bar he's, he's he's huge. He's six ten. He's he's nice. That's Sterling. I mean, yeah, man. He's he's pretty good. So keeping it moving, they got out rebounded by twelve, but that's because P.J. Tucker plays center. I know, cause Capella. Uh, it ain't just Capella. Like you got Nene, Nene. you got uh 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 Manable. What's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Fareed, Kenneth Fareed. Where was he? He was DNP, coach's decision. It, was he really? I mean, he has no CS. He has, he has so no evidently none of us watched the game. No, <laughs> no, I, no I, I watched the whole game. That's one of the reasons we why I was late. Shout out to my grandmother, Joe McGowan. Yeah. We were birthday partying at the time. Beautiful. No, no, I watched the whole game after Mighty I got 90. back. Well, I got back from a tournament. That was interesting. And went to get my crawfish and then came back home and watched the game. So I watched the entire game. That's when I, it was 5:21 by the time I left the house. Sorry, but <laughs> I figured we were gonna PJ Tucker with zero <laughs> points. <laughs> like that thing, man. It's it's just it, you know. It's frustrating, bro. It, because it's frustrating. And they was they still had a chance to win still, despite it, all this foolishness. They are made to beat these guys, bro. Are Very they, much so. And, are and, they? Yeah, no. They literally. If you ask. Anybody in the front office, they will tell you. And they can't even made. cancel out. They can't cancel out their star power. So yeah, I don't know. No, 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 you tripping, fool. They, they didn't you, do you're anything. Not watching. You're not yeah, watching. You had to Steph watch Brady the game. Go 48 points in five minutes. Like this is a tender ankle. He has one. They have one person scoring. This yeah, is with Clay Thompson Durant. on a tender ankle and Steph Curry on a Steph Curry you on, say on, tomato, on a twist today. Tomato. They got one person scoring. Mason. We mm -hmm. have one. Person or we excuse me, the Rockets have <laughs> one person scoring. That's it. They're just a better team. Yo, it's well, I no, mean, yo, it's rebounding. I mean, it's it's rebounding. They have a six eleven man who can shoot. The yes, ball they have players. a center who can do it all. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, but I mean, but you tripping like, if they're not built for this. Yes, they are. They built are for built them. to equal out. Their run. Who cancels out? Who cancels out Kevin Durant? They don't cancel out Harden. each other. Nobody. They cancel Harden. out the points. Okay, so yeah. if Kevin, Harden so if Kevin Durant and James Harden are a push, then who cancels out Steph Curry? The, at Steph and Curry Aaron and, and Chris Paul. Whoever you want to put, it's not the, it's not one person. It's the fact that they would score nine points in three shots. That's it. Yeah. Nine points. Okay, That's even if we say even if we games. say Gordon cancels out Curry, who cancels out who cancels out the wrong way? Clay Thompson. Go Clay Thompson cancels out Clay Thompson. Because yeah, he really does. Man. Clay he Thompson, really does. He don't have, that's what's so crazy. He'll go off for 50 one day, but he will go yeah. for 10 One points. day. One day. Clay that's Thompson That's what I'm saying. One is, day. Is, He'll yeah. go off for because really. they're up four. He does, if you have somebody. Three shots later, they're up 15 no, points. Saying, Gordon cancels out uh, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson didn't do nothing today. Yeah, sometimes they up 15 Defense points, but what happens when you start. Hold James Hart. What happens when you start going two for 17 Then you and take three? that L, ninja? No, man, see, no. That's, you can't just be like, then you just go ahead and lose. What's no, win alternative? the freaking game. You are assuming that if I'm not hitting a three-pointer, I can simply dribble around yes. the defender who is paid to not let me test that paint. I can dribble around him and make an easy layup. Like, there's not people paid to stop that. Like, they wouldn't have done that in the first place. They're, they're off, the Rockets' offense is threes or dunks. That's it. If they have a layup, they're going to take it. Look, they're just man. not going to take the free throw jump. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But look, man, flat out, okay, now Eric Gordon had, had his game today. He scored 27, all right? Flat out. P.J. Tucker had zero. Zero. But when you got P.J. Tucker playing center. No, but you still hit that corner three-pointer P.J. Tucker didn't score a point? No, P.J. Tucker's it? trying to play center. He's and trying to many, rebound. How many rebounds he get? Huh? How many he got three. 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 <laughs> How's he going to rebound? <laughs> I mean, the, the whole thing's silly. Is Fareed injured? Why can't you even put Gerald Green down there? He can jump. Oh, Gerald Green can't. Gerald Green has three points. All right. So you need more... Uh, <laughs> 
You need more out of Daniel House. You yeah, want man. a contract, Daniel House. Oh, he got the contract. That's the only reason he's back. He got it. Nah, but he got Played that hardball. No, that's minimum. What he wanted. He no, no no he got that minimum he Played wants hardball. he wants that uh you know oh, that he NBA wants money. a raise for next <laughs> yeah, year he wants the NBA money yes <laughs> you want a raise for next for year you're gonna have to do better than that um, Iman Shumpert's a loser is he still oh, there he's wait. recording we're not gonna name we're call going I'm to a name, name call. call I'm sick of that dude man <laughs> yeah. he's a waste of time a complete waste of time hey. The views of a mod are not no. necessarily the views of the garage department at a whole or 92 kills.com. So, so we have some people on on Comments. Facebook Live commenting. That boy Ishmael Kadir said Houston fans are delusional. Thank you. A lot of people you. say that. A lot yeah, of people say well. that. Cool. And uh, Jack C. Is... Morgan says it's James sorry ass fault. Whoa, oh. wait, wait a minute now. I mean, damn, I mean, he want the man to score. That's crazy. I mean, he can't play five on one. I will say that. No, d- 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 don't even dignify that one. Let me address I- Ishmael, is it? Ishmael? <laughs> yeah, Ishmael. And now, my question will be, why are we delusional? Or why are Houston fans delusional? Would that be simply because they think they have a good team? One that finished first last year in the in the league. Man, last year means nothing. This year in the league. Uh, would it be because they have one of the best players in the league, one that finished MVP last year? Should be finished. Last MVP year means nothing. Year? Quit walking on my last statement, then. <laughs> you hit it in. One that should finish MVP this year. He won't. How exactly would the delusion on this be? I mean, I can understand if we're talking about another Houston sports team, but I'm not even going to bring them up because that's going to take us on a whole nother tent. But as far as the Rockets, they have shown sustainability. They have shown the fact that they can win. Now it's just the fact of beating one. They have shown team. that they can sustainably be second. Cool. Look, look, one man, team. Look, man. All they need, they need those two, role two. players. No. Three counts for three. Two counts. If for those two. role players play their damn role, they win today. If yes. Gerald Green. And PJ Tucker, no, simply PJ Tucker. If he hits simply three PJ of those, Tucker. No. or two of those, scores nine points, points on the rim. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, if PJ Tucker hit two layups and shot two free throws, they win game the game. game. Maybe Gucci Man. I. But I'm just saying. <laughs> but no, Our, he goes yeah, we can't, over. We can't, and James yeah. Harden is, is is a chump. And he's a start. He's on the start. You can't have a starter go for over. Not a chump. He said choked. You can't have him going over. Yeah, I mean, but you also got the man playing out of position nothing. so often. I mean, and not only is he P.J. Out of position, Tucker moves to center. Not well, only, what? P.J. Tucker might be our MVP. Not so only is he saying. not only is no, he out I mean, of position, but he's severely fault. undersized out yes, of position. Yes, that's not he has his been fault. undersized his entire career. No, but the that's not his five fault. In college, the man played four in Europe, and yeah. he's playing four and five now. No, but that's he's Dan good Tony, as man. As long as he said three pointer, you never know any different. Just like Sean Marion. You never knew it was a difference. As long as he can hit that three-pointer. Adar, I mean, Funky, you asked for him. That boy Junior David from Melbourne is out here from Australia. What's that? Good I'm day, mate. From, from Brisbane. Melbourne. Brisbane. 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 Good day, yeah. mate. Yeah, man, but like. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well. But for what it do to all our uh, Facebook. Uh, exactly. I'm getting to it. The Golden State is by far the best team in the playoffs. It's by far the best team in the league. And by far would be the favorite against anybody they play. Mm-hmm. So let's just see what happens. I mean, it's yeah. just game one. So now the it Bucks and the Celtics. One. The Bucks. I ah, was very surprised ah, that the Bucks. The, the Celtics won handled. Such a manner. Hey, I thought it handled hey, if the Bucks at home. Yeah, same did. thing for them. If they jump shots ain't falling for yeah, they, they, from Milwaukee because their because best player Giannis doesn't. Giannis can't shoot. It I, I mean, he hit one. Th- he's like, but you know like what Zion. Which, oh, he's nothing like Zion. But no, anyway, he's like Zion. If Zion is him, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm okay, just saying, not, not as in. Let's not compare an NBA player to a college player. Not, not, no, to I'm a saying college as freshman. In the, <laughs> in the games that they play, he's like Zion. He doesn't really well, Zion's have a like him. Or Ben Simmons. How about Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons does not take a jumper, does not even look. No, but no, to because. A jumper. Because. But gets freak, in the painted wheel. Greek Freak took a jumper. He took some threes, he hit one. You know what I'm saying? He could hit it. It looked good, but it's not going to be consistent. What I was impressed ben, with. Ben Simmons ben. is straight Chuck Knobloch out there with jumpers. Chuck will, Knobloch will not throw it. Will not. <laughs> will not attempt. I'm like, I'm not attempted at all. No jumper. That man will not attempt. It. 
He would take two. He hates getting fouled. That, oh. What I was impressed with from Boston was Boston was literally getting buckets. I watched Kyrie Irving post up, Dude. give you two, three. Actually, gave you six. I saw him give him six fadeaway jumpers. I saw uh 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 what's my man? I don't know. Dang it. Brown? Thank you. I was is that Brown. Brown's son? Is that, no. That's not anyway. No. I saw I saw Brown give him the business down low. Gordon was coming through with the mid range jumper. They was getting buckets. And sometimes that's what you do. You just keep scoring the basketball and you keep your lead. Or on top of playing outstanding defense. How many points they score, my? Who's that? The Boston. Celtics? 104. Yeah, 104. 104. Saying that the Warriors scored today. And what did they hold? What did they hold the Bucks to? Hmm. The Bucks held themselves to Oh 90. no, no, they didn't score 100. They scored 112 to 90. 90. I mean, yeah. the Bucks. I mean, they, they won by 22. It's 112 90. Played no defense as well. No, nah, I'm, I'm telling you, Boston actually looked pretty good. They looked really good. I mean, today. well, Boston's been good all year. They just finally turned it. I mean, they weren't getting along, I guess. And they right. just finally everybody's turned back it on. healthy. Hey, fools yeah. go when they play Toronto. And I mean, they played all twelve Speaking players. Tor- That's if Toronto gets by. That's if Toronto. Toronto. If Toronto gets oh, by. Oh my! Did you not see last night? No, nah, Toronto- I saw last night. But you know what else I saw? What you see? I saw two players give him 71 points and nobody else doing it. But, but, but that's, let me tell you like this. <laughs> let me tell you like that's this. Exactly so you will lose. That boy yeah. was Jordan-esque last night, bro. So since we're going to get into it. They needed Kawhi Leonard sat here and shot it, and everybody knew he was going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. If he does open, that, it don't matter. Bro, it's over. Yeah, it, 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 if you don't know, uh, uh, the Toronto Raptors, uh, took a 1-0 lead over who are they playing? Philly. The over Philadelphia. the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, the Philadelphia uh, Kawhi Leonard gave him a strong 45. Jimmy, where you at? Can you hear me, Jimmy? And help me Can say his name him? correctly. Sai. 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 What's the boy's name? Sai. Sai. Pascal Saikum. 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 Oh, no. That's definitely not it. He but also I contributed. Know who uh, yeah, I, I don't even say. remember what he scored. But anyway, the, the two of them combined for 71 points. Going to 30. And they won uh, game Going one. away. Yeah, Going they ran away. away. And Kawhi Leonard, literally, if you didn't watch it, don't let the point total fool you. Like, that yeah. man was yeah, literally. he takes over the game. When he takes he over the game, over he takes over the game. game. Every bucket was needed, he hit. And like, not only took, he hit. Hit every, every turnover, single every, every turnover was caused. Turnover by him. he was involved in. <laughs> like he yeah, literally man. just took over the game. And I had not seen that from Kawhi since they had won the ship. Like, if he could if he could turn that jet on like that. So how bad could have things really been in San Antonio? Because he just did man. not want any part of San Antonio last year. San Antonio told that man you're healthy. That man had several people saying I'm not. I don't feel healthy. I got this doctor saying I'm healthy. I'm not healthy, but your doctor is telling me I'm healthy. Then he played one play. game and it was like, Shoo. I'm good, bro. I don't feel healthy. That, that, that didn't feel right. I'm done. But yeah, he didn't have a season ending injury, but he, he ended up though. not playing the rest of the no, season. No, 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 I mean, no. Hey, he saw, he was like, you, I'm about to take the. Um, they did not the have whole his whole best thing. interest at heart, in his opinion. It's Pascal Siakam. Thank you, Siakam. Siakam. And once that happens, you jump ship. You say, uh, you're Anthony Davis. You play that 20 minutes so you don't get fined. And then you move. So now, speaking of the Spurs, they lost game seven last night to the Denver Nuggets. Holla. So now we now have our a super superstar. Sit our uh, semifinalist uh, uh, formed. Boston, not Boston. Uh, Portland plays Denver. And, of course, Houston has Golden State. Boston has Philadelphia. And Toronto no, Boston has. Boston is not Philadelphia. I'm sorry. What did Boston I say? Is today. Boston plays. No, they do have Philadelphia. No. no Boston, Boston plays today. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, excuse me. Yeah. And Philadelphia yeah. and Toronto. OVO. So is it too OVO late Raptors. to go back over the 50 burger? OVO from, Raptors. Uh, from who? Dame Dollar? Kind of, sort of. 
This, oh, now, now well, you're go right. Go back on that YouTube what to and that, check out that 50 What happened burn? to every, this rivalry? Because it was though? amazing. What happened to I, you this know rivalry? what? I meant to send you a text. I send you a text the after that and say, do you really think it wasn't winner. a thing? You think it was something? It was nothing to that? Who do you think he was waving bye-bye to? I mean, to the team. To, to, the, uh, to Russell Westbrook. To all of y'all. He was now, like, who do you think he was like, directing that way to? To all of y'all. He was like, F-O-H, for real. Gamal said he don't think it's nothing to that. He think He think it's manufactured. It's basketball. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, it's just definitely talking it's, to that Yeah, guy. he was talking to him, <laughs> but it's basketball. Told that man, yeah. I've been busting your ass for the last three years. I feel you. And I'd be like, Once okay. Once you said that, that man put up 30 points every game. I was like, okay, you have, you can't really sustain that, but okay. 30 points every game against that man for going back to the regular season. Once <sighs> he made that comment. I mean, I feel you. I'm not. He was telling but that it man, was still that, bye bye, baby. It was still that in 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 basketball. That's how it boy, is. Playoff P with so you. So if you don't, if you don't be like, you don't see the, the person in front of you when you're hooping. I don't see you. I and be like, dog, about to bust your ass. I don't. I mean, yes, that's the yeah. mentality you're supposed to have. That's, that's the but if course. but if you if you're getting handled, at some point you go. I right, shut up and play basketball. And, and in the no, press no, no, no. you're, trying, fact, you're hoping you that you're getting into them. I don't you, know. Man, you ain't getting into his head. You're making, him, you, and you're making him drop 30 on you. Hey, Every maybe time. he should have checked. Hey. 50, the last one with the game winner. You could call this in hot your take. Eye, well, not in your eye because you wasn't man enough to hold him. You could call and this Paul hot take. George's eye dropped that bad boy for the 50 burger. Here's my question. Walked off the court Here's my hot and mean much and mean for years. Here's my hot take question, though. Is Westbrook just the 2010s version of Jason Kidd? No. Better than Jason, Jason yeah, Kidd no, got to the NBA Finals. Back-to-back oh, back NBA Christ. Finals. That means bull crap. What you Russell mean? Westbrook Jason Kidd led Westbrook. his team to back-to-back back NBA Finals. So, let me, in your opinion, is, Russell, is Jason Kidd better than Russell Westbrook? Yes! Oh, stop oh, it. Sir. Go sit down. Oh, oh, sir. This man you bro. telling me Jason years. Kidd was not... This Russell man Westbrook is doing years. exactly what Jason Kidd no, did. That's what no, I'm asking. He's doing asking. exactly. Have y'all forgotten? No, no, that's no, what I'm asking. He's doing exactly what Jason Kidd that's did. The asking. only difference is Jason Kidd's team made it to the finals Excuse twice. Me. Check the record books. Jason Kidd never averaged a triple double. It had he not may not have happened. averaged a triple double, but you better look up how many he had. Okay, well, you, he had not had more than Russell Westbrook, or he up, up until one, a couple right? years ago he did. Russell Westbrook had to average that for three years in a bro, row to catch Jason Kidd. You are dang near as old as me. Even though you're older. Okay. <laughs> you to stop three months, bro. Everything that happened before is better. Sometimes hey, you but, look hey, in the greatness. Hey, but Sometimes. Most of Russell Westbrook uh, triple doubles in these in these playoffs Ales. are 10, 10, and 10, though. That ain't even the point. Because you know what they he, are? If he say L's, L's, and L's. So I don't care what you do no, if you saying. lose. If you can score 100 points. Shots. If you lost the game, what does it's it mean? It's not good for his team. He doesn't need to do that. I mean, but he will. He, he, that's the problem. When they win, he gets the 10, 10, and 10. All is good. The problem, if you want to look at it, is playoff P's points. Uh -oh. Look how many points he has averaged in this series. Uh -oh. Look how many points Stacey Adams. Stacey Adams. Stacey Adams. <laughs> Showing my A's on here. Oh, point. We stay on point like <laughs> Stacey Adams. Hey. Steven Shout Adams. out to Snoop. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, Check out how many all the young points ones, that's Steven Snoop on no limit right there. averaging or was averaging in that Steven series. Adams? So yes, hey. we know. They are definitely missing James Harden. They are definitely missing uh, uh, Ibaka. They are definitely missing... No, they ain't missing James Harden. They let James Harden go. That yeah. was the last time they did. They definitely missed Kevin Durant. No, they, the moment they let years, all of that go. Like, since James They've Harden. Had five teams. What's up, Chad? Uh, I mean, they're just not. They haven't gotten many friends. What they're missing is Robertson. I mean, they're not a really. That's I mean, too. they're Robertson, not a top level Robertson team. Robertson was out there like uh, okay. your boy. Your boy, PJ Tucker. Over. Zero points. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Three it's rebounds. Three rebounds. So now, you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also hit us up tonight, 713-489-0688. What was that again? 713-489-0688. Shout us a call. Hit us on the line. If you got anything, you got questions, you got feedbacks, you got questions uh, about whatever. I don't know. 
We welcome it all. So, moving on. We also had the NBA, the NBA, the NFL draft this week. Oh. Uh, of course, they have now extended it. The whole weekend. <laughs> weekend. Thursday, Friday, and Lord. Saturday. Uh, we had some surprising picks in the first round. New York Giants, you are still on the clock. Yes, the New York Giants took. Psych. I don't even know the kid's they name. Got What's his name? Quarterback of the future. Yeah, that, man, but that Daniel dude shot his Duke. Baby. I told y'all. I that told dude would have been there in the second or third round. I, I yeah, told y'all a long time ago. They about to talk this boy. But you don't know that he would have been there. No, I it knew they were. It could have been a run away. on quarterbacks, in which case he would have been gone at no. the end of the first round. You could have gotten somebody just, just as good. The, the way the they round. were talking, they were talking this boy up into the first round. Easy. Well, from what I understand the about The people drafts, who were talking, the way they were talking, they were the stuff they were bringing up. On, on the real, hey, hot take. Round. I think that's a uh, Archie Manning's illegitimate boy, man. Right? So right. listen, from what I from what it's I know, from what boy. I know about the drafts, with the little the little workings that I've had, the little I haven't had involvement with the NFL draft, but with the little draft, with the little workings with the draft that I've had, if they want, that was their guy. That's who they wanted. They wanted. They would have loved to take him at the seventeenth pick. Probably should have. But. Yeah. Every the, what everybody kept saying to them was, well, if you think he's good enough to take in the first round, you better take him at six because he may not be there at seventeen. If he is as good as you say he you would is, definitely have to trade in because there were several. You got to take him at six, so they took him at six because that was they got. That's who they wanted. They wanted I him. Had no problem with it. I, I, mean, I don't have no problem with it either. You just picked early last year. You picked the best back in the league. This year, your pick would have been a defensive lineman. My question is, you what can go draft. You can go draft whoever you want a quarterback. Who are you gonna throw the ball to? And screw that. The Super Bowls you, you won. In the no, no, no. You talk about a defensive lineman. The Super Bowls that they won they had nine up were because of defensive linemen. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's and a new everybody, league. if you look at the draft, especially the first round, especially the first fifteen picks, it was about def- It was about front seven. Yeah. Okay, that's what's going to win you championship. They're good on that. Now, unless your quarterback, uh, I mean, unless you can get a quarterback that so can't miss, okay, you get him at six because I'm not even sure about the number one pick. Yeah, I don't know. I probably wouldn't have made that one either. Yeah, I don't know about that either. (laughs) But I wouldn't have kept Josh Rosen either, though. Well, I don't know. So, So, I don't know why you throw him away after one year, but whatever. Knowing uh, that you didn't set anything up for him to be successful, you didn't, and you, you haven't even him, you didn't give him any opportunity anything. to be successful at all. You know, but you're good though. That's a whole new regime. That's why you traded him. It would be worse if you just had that man sit on the bench and waste his yeah. time. Yeah, but that's he the real reason. That's the real reason Miami. he was drafted at He's one. He's good. Oh, he I know, I Miami. know. Kingsbury had been recruiting that boy since high school. High school. Couldn't mm-hmm. get him in college, so he He's, said, "I'm gonna get him in the pros." And the offense that he runs, he's perfect for that. Yeah, no he's not gonna line. run that offense in the NFL. He's gonna run a version as best he can. Okay, you have no he, offensive he, line. You need somebody who can scat like Demar, uh, the, like Doc Watson, and take nineteen hundred sacks, but still get up. Yeah, well, this kid is five ten, so <laughs> he might get up and he might not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being real. I don't know. He may. Everybody keeps trying to compare him to Russell Wilson. Uh, Russell Wilson to me, Russell Wilson and Drew Brees are anomalies. I mean, you can't just make them the rule. But, I mean, theoretically speaking, you could say that he would be the anomaly as well because there hadn't been another one that short in a very long time. I know, but 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 I'm saying, I want to I'm saying expecting him to be successful. Like, you can't make the exception the rule. Hey, man, if he's as You're fast as Michael Vick for a couple of years. Who? You just need this man to be better than Rosen, bro. Exactly. If he's as fast as RG3 for a couple of years. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Number hey, one, that hey, doesn't We're talking sustain. about a number one quarterback. Yeah, you ain't get no, a couple no, of years no, no, out no, your number one overall sustain. pick. You did okay. not see the second year coming with RG3. RG3 looked like he was going to be. Oh, yeah, he was going to be amazing. He did, he did, he did, he did, he did. No, 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 he did. He got hurt. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, he got some cheap hits. No, 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 he got hurt. And start hating like he did Vince Young. And then, yeah, Mike Vick's claim to fame is one victory in Green Bay. Oh, Which man. was a huge victory, by the way. I Who cares? That. Did he I go to the Super Bowl? No, the one victory in Green Bay, and it was deep. 71 degrees that well, day. I don't know. I remember watching them handle St. Louis one year, too. Several teams. Michael Vick was a straight bone, bro, until he got to the NFC Championship. 
Yes. <laughs> because he couldn't read defenses. Hey, call it what you want. Okay. You made out of bottom. Now you're just slandering people. I'm not slandering that. anybody. It's, it's a known fact. Just, he just lost when he got to better talent. How about that? Because no, he, he lost didn't. because he didn't study. Hey. Perfect. Well. Okay, and he never developed well, book, that Kyle. part of his game. Well, this, get, this guy okay. here broke records that this – that who they all raving about just last year. He broke his. Who record. took the perennial bottom feeder Cleveland Browns to a solid five hundred season? Yeah, well, Cleveland's going to be damn good going forward. <sighs> That's what y'all say. No, 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 they are. That's what every, they say that every every draft though. No, they don't. They do. No, they don't. D- Cleveland, Cleveland definitely has expectations. Oh, now. man, Cleveland's going to be good, so. man. They, they got the expectations. They've they got, got a quarterback. <laughs> They've got two number one wide receivers. Yes. One Once he comes back, off they suspension, Chubb, they got Chubb a hell of a running back. Okay, now we got to go into that, too. Scoot don't worry, we're going to get into that in just a second. But I got it to uh, Tyus, what is it? The Tyus Edney. Tyus no, Howard. Wow. <laughs> I meant. Not Tyus. Ty- Titus. Titus. Titus Howard. Straight out there what? Out of Alabama State, out of the SWAC. Hey, hey, was drafted in the first out. round by the Houston Texans. He was the first. He is the first FCS player taken in the first round since Carlson Wentz. In what? What was that? 2000? Two, what was that? 2016? What was that? 13? No, nah, 2016. That's the tackle that Texans took, for those that don't know. That's the tackle slash guard. Okay, yeah, okay, like okay, 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 okay. I know my – okay, my man grades highly, I guess. Um, he did very well in the senior bowl. I watched him. Did he? Against top talent. Did not give up a sack okay. against Alabama. I'm a little scared of uh, quarterbacks Auburn, turn tackles. Auburn, not Alabama. Auburn. Auburn. Yeah. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm a little scared of quarterbacks turn tackles, though. Jason Peters. I mean, he's athletic. That's what you want is an athletic okay. offensive lineman. Yeah, you do. Look at Stanley. Yeah, All he doing. was was a converted tight end Let to me a ask tackle. You this. Was Xavier Joe Sula Thomas Fido, was he athletic? converted? Who? Sula Filo. Sula Filo? Mm, First off, it was against Auburn. I'm just, yes, I, was Sula Filo athletic? Is what I'm asking. Because if he was athletic as well, then I'm not so happy. Well, about you talking pick. about Xavier Sula Filo? Xavier, yes. Uh, I don't know. Because he was trash. Nope, sorry. Not but then they moved that, They moved his position, too. They made him play guard. He anyway. Had, that was because he wasn't performing. At the you time. should be able to play any position. Exactly. You're a football line. player. Quentin Maybe Bell, not center. What's different? Quentin Bell, out of Prairie View, was drafted in the seventh round by the Oakland Raiders. Hey. Now, Man. what was he? Was he How the defensive end? He was the defensive end. He's also a converted he's, quarterback into defensive no, end. No, he's a wide receiver converted. Wide receiver converted playing defensive, defensive end. end. He ran yeah. a 4-3, come on. Yeah. You know how much you like speed. Uh, right. Yeah. I drafted him on my I saw him tear Rice up. Uh, in that first game, that's why Rice just started running the ball down <laughs> Prairie View's neck. But but he I'm tore Rice that. up that first half. See? Four three so, coming uh, around to the Raiders. Four three coming around that corner. To the yeah, he, went to a better yeah, he's gonna be an outside. Four three coming around that corner is something. Yeah, see, I, but Man, I don't think he's gonna have his hand on the ground and and they're the the gonna try to play him like Khalil Mack, more yeah. than likely. Hey. Mm-hmm. Four three coming around that corner. Yeah, four three coming around the corner gonna be hard to stop. No, forget hard to stop. Nah, he got to learn how to dip. Hey, I hope he good at dipping that shoulder. Because yeah. when, when, when they do get to him, he's only 238. When they do get to him, he got it there. Hey, he better cover, he better cover uh, <laughs> running back. <laughs> Some <laughs> key <laughs> snubs. Uh, Le Jordan Humphrey. Hey, no Man, out of Texas was now? not drafted, but he Under did sign. He just signed with the New Orleans Saints. Son yeah. of Le Jordan. Which, uh, he looked like he would go to the New Orleans I guess he learned how to block. He can play tight end because he was too slow. Is that slow. what he's trying to do? He was too slow. Man, the man he ran d- a 4'8". He eight. ran a 4'8". He's not that big. A wide man. receiver. He's exactly. He's not that big. He's, he's like, uh, he's 120 But truth be told, in my opinion, in my opinion, I didn't think the boy should have been in the draft anyway. He had a, he, he had an oak, no, he had an okay sophomore year. He had a slightly better junior year, and then he went to the draft. So he could have played one more year and Absolutely. he chose to come out and Jordan is And then obviously he wasn't, he obviously wasn't motivated because he went out there and ran a 4'8". He's 6'4", 225. So I I don't know what he's been doing since uh, January, yeah. but it ain't been working out. If he ran a four eight, <laughs> he been eating whatever they eat in Dallas. I don't know That's what the hell he been doing, man. Look, George, you tripping? Hope you didn't fire hire an agent. Go back to school. But but I will tell you, he already been, signed with the with the with, with the Saints. With the Saints, having been around some Saints fans today, they True. do think they got a steal. So. Yeah, if still on that practice practice squad. Squad. I mean, no, I mean, if no, but, but, Coast, it wasn't fast though. If he's Marquise Coast, yeah, I mean, fast. I mean, he doesn't have to be super fast. The only thing about his 40 time that gives me trepidation is that it shows that the man did not 
work hard. Right, exactly. He didn't back work hard. Right. He was he not motivated not to get drafted, evidently. But then not to mention, he plays slot at Texas. How many slot receivers do you know come out early? Yeah, He's he not even number one at Texas. What are you coming out for? Because you're 6'4", 225. Hey. And you from Dallas. Marquise. Uh, Shout out to my people in Dallas. Let yeah, me stop that. <laughs> right, it's because Marquise, you're 6'4", uh, 225. Chris Goodwin. No. You, where is Marquise he Marquise Goodwin. He in Buffalo. He's in Buffalo now? Track dude. Or is he in, in San Francisco? He's, He's in, in San, San Francisco. Francisco. He's in San Francisco. I mean, hey. He, he played. He wasn't there number one. Number one's a straight line. Yeah, but he could run. And he could jump. Now, now he's, he could run. What? Well, no, you have to run. Look, as a wide receiver, you have to run faster than a four eight. You got offensive linemen who's running fives and five ones and five twos, the and they three hundred pounds. Story. You're two twenty five. You telling me you can't outrun them? I mean, you don't have to. But the thing I mean, is, it really depends on what your ten yard split was. But if you're running four eight, your unless you unless your intentions are to, I, you you literally said to teams, "Hey, I'm just coming to the league so I can be your possession receiver." <laughs> no, falling, kid. no, I think he's gonna. Uh, oh, Cole Beasley. You know they lost. Um, what's my man's name? Uh, Thomas. Uh, no, no, no. Screw about. him. I'm talking about the Saints. Was it Ben? Uh, ben Watson. Maris Thomas. Actually, Ben Watson retired the tight end. So they're gonna make. They're gonna. You saying they're gonna make Lil Jordan the tight end? But like not an on the line tight end. I'm talking like a, a line modern slot day. Tight end. Aaron Hernandez. Sterling Sharp. Yeah. Tight end. Not even. Not. Nah, not even Shannon Sharp. Yeah, Sterling uh, Sharp tight end. You remember Sterling, Sterling used to line up wide, like a no, wide out. Well, no, but he's a tight end. No, no, Sterling Sharp wasn't no tight end. Sterling Sharp was, was a tight end. Sterling Sharp was a tight end. Sterling Sharp was a split end. used to line out wide. That boy no, was a tight end. Sterling Sharp was a split end. Sterling Sharp was a wide receiver. Man, y'all better look again. Sterling Sharp was a tight end. I watched Sterling Sharp. Sterling Sharp was a tight end. Yeah, you watched him line up wide, but he was a tight end. You can't be a tight end lining up wide. Yeah, you can. No, you can. In the office, you can line up wherever you want to. As long you, you can, got seven on the line. But the you're not a tight end. You you're a to split, be split on line. Because I never saw him flexed out or never saw him on all uh, a twin on three. Tight end set. Never saw him. Sterling Sharp Doc was a split end, a wide pitch. receiver. He's a classic split end. What a split <laughs> end is supposed to be. That was back in the day when you had a split end and a flanker. Oh, flanker. <laughs> okay, when you had two wide out. receivers, a tight end, a fullback, and a halfback. Flanker was out. The good old days of football before it got all weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell they doing. Yeah, you don't run the ball no more. You don't do nothing no more. Man, you got six and under teams running the spread, and I hate that. Throwing the ball 60 times a game, they can't even throw a catch. <sighs> Well, no, no, no. The thing I hate about it, when you see those high school teams and stuff running the spread is, okay, you're running the spread, but you're running the ball 41 times a game. <laughs> Explain not that to me. Spread. Get damn. a damn tight end and a fullback and run the ball, be a man. Well, anyway. Speaking of tight ends, the Texans tight end, Ryan Griffin, uh, was arrested while in Nashville fool. celebrating the draft. On the same night that what happened? I'm a ride the Texas my horse on the country a road. A tight end. <laughs> the Texans drafted a blocking tight end on the same night this man chose to get arrested in Nashville. Maybe that's why he got arrested. Because supposedly like lost he was arrested job. for vandalism and public intoxication. He punched a window. In yeah. a drunken Foolish. The state, window will always win. So who knows? Maybe he was angry about was the he, draft. Was he like Ryan Lochte? No, 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 like, no. He's a fool. It. That's what he is. He no racism. So, no, that's no, no, called no. crazy cut. white boy stuff. He punched. Yeah, he punched the window. Security followed him and called the police. When the police arrived, yes, his hand was all cut up, and he was supposedly, uh, allegedly, allegedly. Let's put Drunk. that there. Uh, very yeah, having a difficult time standing. I up. mean, if you're punching windows instead of security guards, you're, you're probably right. He may not drunk. be drunk. He might be losing blood. So uh, <laughs> just a little woozy on the boy. So that was draft night. I mean, he, he lost his job. Fool. There's no. If when you look at him, he looked like he got you know that what Andre the Giant had. Oh wow. What's that a called? Heart Agro Camellia That's or not whatever. Nice. Uh, he does. So it's something up with him. <laughs> I said John was huge, bro. Yeah, no, nah, but he looks like he's got, you know, your face heart. all big. Poor oh, guy. Okay. He just but swallowed up. He got too drunk uh, and too place. stupid. I mean, look at his mugshot. Hey, I haven't seen all His that. fade is sick, though, on oh, the wow. mugshot. I always give I, I didn't get my hair cut this weekend. I'm going to get it cut on Tuesday. But his fade is, is like, I respect a man with a good fade. Man, you and, get to go get haircuts on Tuesday? Uh, I get my yeah, when I get off work, Tuesday. you get off work, you hit that barbershop, you open to 7 30. I get out of work, I don't get home till after 4 o'clock. <laughs> that's because you work in Timbuktu. <laughs> if that's the case on Tuesday, Tuesday's not a good home. day for you then. You need to pick another day. 
Oh, man. In other NFL news, Tyreek Hill's investigation has been Freedom! reopened due to man, boy, the after audio he was freed tapes. Or after he was deemed. Right. After the charges or, were, were, were dropped, dropped. I guess that would be the better yeah. time. After the charges were dropped, the, the, the investigation will now be reopened due to yeah. audio tapes released. Due to when the baby Who released the audio tapes? I'm saying. The baby when mama. The baby, she is a dummy then. The baby's she's mother. True. She is she's stupid. She's scared of No, she admitted to two crimes yeah, on that. she's going down she too, admitted, bro. She admitted to lying during a, a, a CPS investigation and lying to a detective. I don't know why she would release it. She is a damn idiot. Evidently, she's, she's fear, going to jail too. Evidently, her fear of him supersedes what what she deemed to be uh, uh, her her error in judgment. Yeah, well, she could have gotten rid of him by not uh, lying to them cops. That would have <laughs> helped me out a lot. But I could tell him anything, baby. Anytime don't touch this me. damn fool sitting up playing an open chess with his son, hey, who's three, bro, three, three years, years old. old open man. chess. He's playing like open chess. Yeah, he's with a three year old now. Uh, and don't get me wrong, because you know I'm the father of boys. Oh, yeah. You're a father of boys. You're a father of a boy. You're a father of a boy. We're all father of boys, and we all know at some point. I just play beat. You got to get him right. You know, like, no, you hey, you're going right. to be a man at some point. Yeah, I would, I would but three years old. Yeah, three year old. You got 17 year olds. You punch them in the chest? You can't justify. Yeah, if I have to. If now, you luckily, have, if you I have punch to. Them in the luckily, chest. my boys, and I, and I mean this, they, you know, they don't test me too no, much. No, but you ain't punching your kid in the chest. Hey. Which You're right. I will if I have to. Open chest yeah, is not a game for three-year-olds. If they come at you. But right. No, it's not even if they come. That's that's if it requires me to get their attention no. to the point beyond me talking to them. Because no, no. you know they way too big to be hitting on their butt with a belt. I don't know. No, but, 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 no, 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 no. Can you use this is the cord way it's supposed to work. Or DRC's paddle. Okay. <laughs> that <laughs> says. You hit him on the butt coming up. Line so right. at 17, Absolutely. you don't have to hit them. Exactly. Exactly. I was saying, That's me and my boys, we'd never have to get to that point. Yeah. Now, now I will say, tragically, I'm pretty sure, because a lot of men have a real messed up mentality about, I'm going to make me, my boy tough. My, make, make him tough. I'm the man, man in this house, and you're not feeling even much. You ain't going to leave my house. So. <laughs> that man. That's how they talk, yo. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, I'm, I'm the king of this. No, you, you're not about to come to my house <laughs> and disrespect my house. I'm going to protect my house. <laughs> Negro, shut up. <laughs> anyway. Man, the is here, man. <laughs> anyway. So, awesome. I, I'm pretty sure, sadly, Tyreek Hill was a victim of this same thing. Oh, uh, right. Because yeah. somebody did that to him. Because listening to the audio tapes, it's absolutely just. <sighs> Did you hear what he said? Bitch, you better be scared of me too. You're right. Yeah. Like, that yeah. was the problem. You need to be terrified issue. of me too. That was his I one was issue. Like, oh, what are you talking it, about? Mm -hmm. You could have got that AP And he was like, he's not terrified of me. AP he respects me. Dude, he's three years old. Yeah. yeah. You play in the NFL. <laughs> You're punching a three year old in the chest. And threatening to hit your wife in the chest as well. When they're three, all they know how to do is cry. Mm -hmm. Chop in the neck. What have they been what what else do they know how to do? Mm -hmm. Max say chop in the neck. <laughs> in the so, neck, the throat on the, the stomach, right? Yeah. In the throat of the stomach. So this is tragic. Like, I really don't want to see this young man be thrown away the way they threw away Ray Rice. Um, or the way they threw away Kareem Hunt. Well, it's just no. an L. Well, I don't want to see that either. Well, no, I mean, Kareem Hunt has got another chance. Kareem Hunt's got a half a year suspension, yeah. right? And he'll be back. I'm just saying the way they just um, You know, provided away. that he doesn't, Nothing. you know, uh, try to get another train and then the girl refuses and he want to kick in the head. Oh. And she will <laughs> refuse again. The question is you what know, do you do with that? Provided he's smart with his stuff and don't trip out again. Uh, but Tyreek Hill has a real or problem. He abused this young lady in college allegedly. That's why he wasn't drafted. That's why he, you know, didn't finish out and his they career were still at Oklahoma together. State. Problem number one. Very, very big problem. Yeah, guess, but right. we talked about this on the midweek show. And I guess we can talk about that later because did you see the girlfriends at the draft? <laughs> was she at the draft? Like no. the driven oh, I'm snow. Saying all of the girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> like the driven be snow. Sure to, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and check out our our first ever. I ain't gonna go there. I was, I was gonna go there. Our first go there. ever hangouts. I mean, not one. Not one. We not, gonna uh, not one of y'all going with now? You can't even get a lala. Now, one of y'all go with now? Lie? Yeah, you can't even get a light? Can't, yeah. can't even get a biracial girl? A girl with a black daddy? Uh, where are they going to get a Puerto Rican girl in Starksville, Mississippi? 
A lot of these folks been dating girls since they high school years. No, they haven't. They dated no them girls in, in Mississippi. Boy, I can tell you, there's a no, very slight few. Bro, you got to go. You got to go. No, 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 no. And they not in college neither. So I ain't say they were going to sit down here at home with three kids. Hey. Not, I'm just saying, and, start, and that's yeah. who I saw getting drafted off the yeah. Wazoo. Well, there's definitely oh, Mississippi Black. State yeah. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Every time hey. I look at so them, where are you going? Hey. As a man, there's plenty of black girls in Starkville, Mississippi. Hey. Hey. Damn it. All I'm saying is, please <laughs> in Tuscaloosa, don't give up where, what, who are you going to What does it say? I can understand don't the point, brother. The but there's white women. <laughs> there's plenty of black girls in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, too. Give up the devils. Don't give up. In Oxford, there ain't no plenty of black people in Oxford. There's pain. I mean, no, 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 we are not taking the show that direction. Mississippi's so 50% black. What are you talking about? I will tell you what we are talking about. Right. Talk about but since we're talking about they race relations. Jackson. Mississippi's the blackest state in the union. What are they you talking Jackson. about? No, they're all over the damn state. Jackson, Jackson. Since we're talking we about the South and we're talking about race relations, the University of Virginia basketball team hey. has, 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 has told President Trump, please don't invite us to the White House. Coach Andy Cohen. Because uh, we have a scheduling conference. Exactly. Now, I think no Cohen. matter what day you That's schedule what the coach it for. Exactly. Don't the exactly. coach like Andy Cohen on the Bravo? We got a scheduling conflict. What about that? Do that? The I, think that's a bit, yes. I think that's a bit cowardice. Like, go ahead and say we're not coming. That's what they said. No, but th like you said, no matter when you schedule it, we got when, a scheduling conflict. You schedule it, bro, it's a scheduling conflict. Listen, you can gracefully decline. You don't, and, and you don't no, necessarily have not. to be. Main, you don't necessarily have to be politically correct. You can just simply say, "Sir, our values do not match your values. We I'm will sure not the come." Man or or right. about it accept your, your they invitation. They probably just or eat right and don't want no just, damn cake. Well, they don't, no want, burgers, don't want no Burger bro, King no, or, or, or McDonald's. Or, can you imagine how cold them damn burgers and fries <laughs> was? Too? I know, right? Can you imagine Who wants cold French fries, bro? The and they kept them in the box, though. Kept them in the box? Kept them in the, on a pyramid? I know, right? They, they ordered them, maybe they ordered them right before they let them in. It doesn't matter. It you got 600 things to Maybe it's a Burger King and a like McDonald's that. and a Chick-fil-A on the White House lawn. They there's better not. be on the White House. There's not. Yeah, there's <laughs> not. <laughs> there's not. <laughs> because you're not going to get on to the White House, into the West Wing, into that man's presence that fast. You can if it's getting a police escort. So it's an escort. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you get to the gate, you got 15 minutes to you get You can't in my get house. one of those burners, those, those buffet burners, I and just put the burgers no in there? Echo in my head, you bro. have a full staff, a full staff kitchen that, All right. that makes meals anything, for, for, for you. Anything for you. you want. For for dignitaries, for everybody from all over the world who comes to visit the White House. I mean, there's a Trump hotel that you own right around the corner. <laughs> with a four-star restaurant in it. This with is true. What are you doing? To cook whatever you yeah, with, with, with all of his illegal kitchen staff. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That Jackson. if he built this wall, he's not going to have. Yes. Oh, no. He's going to have because if you look deeper into it, they have, in order to build a wall, they had to expand the amount of guest worker permits they could give out. Right. So you can still be a legal immigrant. You're just going to get one of these guest worker permits, which we didn't have enough of before, which is why you kind of just snuck over in the yeah. first place. Now we got a little bit more. You can have that. Come on to the Trump Tower, Tim Fo. Yeah, well, that damn wall is the stupidest thing I heard in the past 38 years of my life. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to make that another show for another but, day. But, but, but hold on. One thing, though, as far as the, the Virginia thing, is that it was a big deal. With them, especially with Trump doubling down on his Charlottesville comments, right. saying that he answered that perfectly, and right. that these people from Charlottesville, Virginia, absolutely refused to go. Now, Char if you know anybody from the University of Virginia, think of uh, UT people times two. The right. assholery of them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ah. Hey, it's my bad. Ridiculous. Shout out to the, I was gonna say, <laughs> shout out to my boy David. Well, Trey's at Richmond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jackie, no, Jackie is Charlottesville. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Jackie. Shout out to and Carrie. Yeah, just arrogant yeah, for yeah, nothing. Yeah. No, for real, David Anson. Arrogant out, for what? That's my boy, though. <laughs> so, because <laughs> I'm trying to get it all in. Dabo Sweeney. Man, hold on. I want to Gigantic contract. $93 million dollar contract extension. For how long? 10 years? For 10 years. And the players get $438 a month stipend. I was just going to say, so now. That's <laughs> equal, right? And yeah. we actually for the run out of time because we got about two minutes very left. Very quickly, if anybody deserves it, Dabo deserves it. They had a monopoly before he started winning. This is true. However, Nobody considering his it. comments and the, how he feels about the, the freedoms of athletes, and did for him to then accept 
a 10 year extension of $93 million and his players receive absolutely nothing. On top Diddly of the poo, table. as that, uh, Jim Moore said. There is something very immoral and unscathed about I'm not unscathed, they're very they're immoral house, and unclean yeah, about that. I guarantee yeah. they're at his house every weekend with, uh, how shall I say, Sticky hands. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not allowed to be at his house, but hopefully, oh, yeah, but Somebody hopefully there's some boosters, boosters there. House. Yeah. Uh, hopefully there's some house. boosters there another who know how to do it. House. And hopefully they got some pretty good summer jobs like Rhett Bomar and them had washing cars for $30,000 a summer. Yes. The Illegal. players deserve it. Take all the damn money you can, players. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so we got.